Hello, welcome to Stackable, your all-in-one solution to building stunning websites with a WordPress block editor. In this video, we'll be showing you how you can get absolutely creative with Stackable's Carousel Block. Stackable's Carousel Block is a versatile sliding block that allows you to add almost any type of block to display a series of images, text, videos, or a combination of these elements. It is best used with the image, image box, card, and testimonial blocks. You can use Stackable's Carousel block to make image carousels, product carousels, testimonial carousels, and even hero carousels to make an amazing first impression at the top of your page. Now that you've seen some examples, it's time to make your own carousel. First, add a carousel block from the block library. Then, add a block of your choosing. You can add more slides in the carousel. Here in the slide setting in the layout tab. In this example, we've made an image carousel by adding image blocks into the carousel block. You can customize the carousel block just like any other block. In addition to this, you can also customize the individual blocks you have added inside the carousel. Here we're adding zoomed-in hover states to each individual image. Then use Stackable's Lightbox feature to create a more immersive user experience for website visitors. These are some ways you can transform a simple carousel to a stunning visual display of your content using Stackable's design tools. Now on to transition effects. You can choose the transition effect you want for your slides by selecting the carousel type here in the layout tab where you have the options slide or fade. When you select the slide option, the blocks within the carousel will slide from one to the next. Together with this option is the setting to show one or more slides at a time. This setting is responsive. You can change the number of slides to show in tablet or mobile by clicking on the responsive toggle icon over here. When you select the fade option, your slides will appear one at a time in the carousel with a fade transition to the next slide. You can adjust the fade duration over here. Next, we have the autoplay setting. You can toggle on the autoplay if you want the carousel to automatically move through each slide without having to click on the arrows or dots. You can adjust the speed right below the autoplay toggle switch. When autoplay is turned on, it will also automatically loop the carousel so that when the carousel reaches the last slide, it loops back to the first. Stackable's carousel block also comes with arrows and dot navigation, so your website visitors can manually navigate through the slides. In the style tab of the carousel block, you will see settings to customize the arrows and dots in your carousel. You also have the option to turn either or both of them off, depending on your design. In the arrows panel, you can customize the previous and next arrows that appear by default on each side of the carousel block. You can change the previous slide icon and the next slide icon. Then choose between inside or outside for the arrow position. Here you have button justify and button alignment settings to easily position your arrows whether it's inside or outside the carousel. You can adjust the button offset and button gap to modify the spacing of your arrows. You can further customize the arrows by changing the button and icon color, the button size, icon size, the border radius, 
and the opacity. Here at the bottom of the arrows panel, you have the option to show arrows on mobile. When this option is disabled, users will still be able to touch and swipe across the slides on mobile and tablet devices. In the Dots panel, you have the options to modify the layout and spacing of your dot navigation using the Dots Justify and Dots Offset setting. With Dot Style, you can choose whether your dots have a solid color or outline. Once you've chosen a dot style, you can go on to customize your dot color and active dot color. The active dot color corresponds to the slide that is visibly shown in the carousel. Use the dot gap setting to adjust the space between the dots. You can also set the values for active dot width and active dot height. Just like the arrows, you also have the option to show dots on mobile. Stackable's carousel block together with Stackable's design tools opens exciting possibilities for showcasing your most important content in a compact yet visually attractive way. We hope you enjoy this new feature in Stackable. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more stackable updates, tips, and tutorials. You can also join our Facebook community or visit our website for more information. We'll link them down below.